electromagnetics whenever before 1820 there was only pure magnetism after 1820 then there is a topic electromagnetism generally when the current is passing through a conductor there are three types of effects current is passing through a conductor current is passing through a conductor there are three types of effects magnetic effects chemical effects now next heating effect these are the three effects due to the current here in 1820 there was a famous experiment ayerstead experiment ayerstead experiment before ayerstead experiment that is pure magnetism after ayerstead experiment there is a electromagnetism now pure magnetism is produced by the magnets electromagnetism is produced by the currents before 1820 or before ayerstead experiment electricity was treated as a separate chapter and magnetism is also treated as a separate chapters two separate independent chapters but uh, after the ayerstead experiment they became interdependent chapters Imp interdependent studies therefore magnetism is related to the electricity and electricity is related to the magnetism the combined effect of electricity and magnetism is electromagnetism or electromagnetics now due to the current due to the passage of the current in a conductor generally we can discuss magnetic effects chemical effects and heating effects therefore the magnetic effects of currents magnetic effects of currents magnetic effects of currents right is what to say electromagnetism now in the electromagnetism we shall discuss first one ayerstead experiment what is ayerstead experiment ayerstead experiment it was an accidental experiment when the current is passing through a conductor when the current is passing through a conductor right around the conductor induced magnetic field is established induced magnetic field is established induced magnetic field is established here let us consider a magnetic needle this magnetic needle always in the direction of north and south suppose there is a conductor this is the conductor there is no passing through the conductor there is no current passing through the conductor nearby a bare conductor if you place a magnetic needle this is called magnetic needle this is the magnetic this magnetic needle always shows north direction 
whenever the current is passing through the conductor then the magnetic needle is deflected right whenever the magnetic needle is deflected what shows the deflection in the magnetic needle what shows the deflection in the magnetic needle that is the presence of induced magnetic field around the current carrying conductor therefore here in his laboratory i rested and has a lab table there is a current carrying conductor right which is connected to the cell nearby that is accidentally placed a magnetic needle as long as there is a current as the as long as there is a current that is the magnetic needle shows a deflection right without current carrying conductor in the absence of the current in the conductor the magnetic needle shows always the north direction when the current is passing through the conductor magnetic needle is deflected why the magnetic field needle is deflected what shows the deflection in the magnetic needle that means around the current carrying conductor there is a magnetic field therefore what is the i rested experiment what is the conclusion of the i rested experiment the induced magnetic field is established around the current carrying conductor now next one suppose this is the current carrying conductor around the current carrying conductor induced magnetic field is established right now if the current direction is changed if the current direction is changed whether then the deflection in the ma magnetic needle is also changed now suppose at this point or at this point at this point at two different field points what is the strength of the magnetic field the strength of the magnetic field that is to calculate the direction of the magnetic field the direction of the magnetic field depends upon the direction of the current and the strength of the magnetic field depends upon the strength of the current what we can conclude right i rested experiment what is the i rested experiment induced magnetic field is established around the current carrying conductor through every conductor if you send a current around that conductor magnetic field is produced the characteristics of the magnetic field the direction of the magnetic field right the strength of the magnetic field depends upon the strength of the current and again it is depends upon the direction of the current now suppose induced magnetic field induced magnetic field this induced magnetic field is represented by that is b bar this induced magnetic field can have magnitude and direction right magnitude can be calculated by ampere circuital law ampere circuital law second one byatt savatt law byatt savatt's law right the direction of the magnetic field right ampere swimming rule ampere swimming rule right second one maxwell cork screw rule maxwell's cork screw rule right third one ampere's right hand thumb rule ampere's right hand thumb rule let us consider a conductor through the conductor if the current is passing around the conductor there is a magnetic field 
there is a production of the magnetic field that magnetic field is a vector quantity the magnetic field magnitude the strength of the magnetic field can be determined by two laws ampere circuital law and baird severs law the induced magnetic field around the current carrying conductor can have the direction the direction can be calculated can be determined by ampere's swimming rule maxwell's corkscrew rule and the right hand thumb rule first of all that is direction i want to say what is the ampere's right hand thumb rule right what is the ampere's swimming rule sorry ampere's swimming rule a person is swimming in the direction of current by showing by facing his face towards the conductor the motion of the left hand gives the ampere swimming rule 